Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. Today I'll be talking about how to instrument your containerized .NET application running with an Azure App Service and instrumenting the Elastic APM. The architecture is very similar to the previous blog, which I containerized the Java app running with an Azure App Service. Same, same exact architecture. You mount a storage container. That storage container has your Elastic APM, which is mounted to your application, which essentially then sends the telemetry data over to Elastic Service. If you're interested in replicating this demo, uh, what you'll need is an Azure account and a storage container. You'll upload the Elastic APM uh, to the storage container. There's a great video from the Azure folks. It's super simple how to create a storage container and, and mount it to your Azure App Service. Uh, so there's no reason for me to demo that. The Azure folks did a great job. There's also an, uh, you also need an Elastic Service, which you'll fetch the APM URL and token. I'll show you how to do that. You also need, um, uh, here's the documentation, link to the documentation on the APM, uh, the .NET agent profiler. Um, and then if you just want to go to the binary and download itself, uh, that, there's a link right there. And then you can containerize any .NET application. The one I'm using, here's a tiny URL for that. I basically dockerized it and uploaded it to my, uh, to my own registry, uh, coincidentally in Azure as well. So first, you'll need your uh, APM URL and token. The reason why I put this on a slide is because some of it has sensitive information I don't want the public to know about, uh, like my APM URL endpoint. So first, you just go to Kibana, you click on Integrations, then you uh, click on Elastic APM. Um, I like to always click on the Java one or the Open Telemetry. Uh, it just tells you exactly here's the URL, and uh, here's the uh, token, and that's all you'll need. Next, we have to download the .NET agent, and uh, it, I already provide the tiny URL to that. So you click on the latest release. For now, it's uh, 119, and then you scroll down and uh, download, and you unzip that uh, folder. So once you have that asset or that zip unzipped, you'll, you'll see a folder. It'll be Elastic Profiler, APM Profiler with the version number. You simply take that and you upload that either using the Azure Storage um, Storage Viewer, I believe that's what it's called. Um, you can upload it there or through the uh, portal itself. And um, I created a, a container called .NET here. You call it whatever you like. And then I uploaded the, uh, the folder right there. And I'll be using that in the next step. So here's a view of my application. If I scroll down to configurations, to path mapping, uh, I'm going to uh, make this mount available. So you call it whatever you want. I called it Sunman. Um, and uh, you, you select your storage account here. Uh, I, I removed it just so I don't want to share with the public. Um, and then also uh, name your storage container. Uh, I remember I showed you on the previous slide that it's mine is called .NET. And then I mount it. This is important because I mount this uh, .NET as APM, and that's what will be uh, shown within. That's what you'll see within your, your mount point within your application itself. If you want to run this locally, it, I, and I highly recommend you to try this first locally, and then once you have this instrumented, then you go and do this in Azure App Services. Um, here's a little bit of, uh, this is the Docker command, run command for local testing. You can see here that um, I'm mounting my local path, my, my Elastic APM profiler, and I'm mounting it just like I'm doing on Azure with the APM. Um, I'll point your APM URL, your token, I showed you how to do that. And then any service name, uh, call it anything silly or something serious, doesn't matter, just call it something because it'll show up in the service map. Um, the rest of the configurations are documented pretty well in the Elastic uh, documentation, so go there for more information. What's important is uh, the Elastic APM profiler home. You do want a dash APM, exactly what the root is, because that's where it'll look for the rest of the files. So you can see here that Elastic profiler integrations, APM, this is looking for the, the root, and then it, um, integrations are yeah. Uh, and then lastly, you must have this set, uh, the disable metrics. And then you can call it uh, any, obviously this is <laughs> my, my silly application called my awesome container. So the next step is just a quick sanity check on whether the application is running itself, right? So um, again, it's a slide because it has my subscription number and all other private information I don't want to share. Sharing a screenshot, 
this is the URL to my application. If I click on it, uh, this particular one, it says, hey, yeah, it's working. Okay, nothing fancy. So here's the part where the instrument comes into play. You'll go down to your configuration in your app, configuration in your Azure App Service. And over here, you can see that all the uh, uh, environment variables that I was running locally, how I'm using them in Azure App Service. Same exact stuff here, right? So you can see here that I have um, the Elastic APM disable metrics, very similar to what you saw in, in the local. Very similar, right? And, and I'm calling out the mom point. You notice here it's APM dash APM. Again, I called my .NET mom point dash APM. That's what we're referencing. You'll be putting your token, all the all the places where I showed the arrows here. It's very important to, to pay attention to that. As you always set this up properly, you restart your application. You should uh, hit pay dirt. So I've essentially done that. I restarted my application. So let me head over to Elastic now. I'll click on Observability, and I'll click on Service Map. And the .NET application, in fact, does show up. It's interactive. It'll give you more details. And then I'll click on Services. And I can see that, that in fact, my, and th by the way, this is the name of the service name uh, that you, you call it, whatever you want. I call that profiler random, some digits here. Um, and this will show up and you can click on it. It's interactive and it'll give you a lot of information about your service. So what did we talk about today? Today, we showed how simple it is to instrument your Elastic APM with your containerized .NET application on Azure App Service. We talked about how to download the um, APM and, and mount it to your application. Some of the configurations that are incredibly important and then restarting your application. Um, and, and, um, and finally, uh, going over to Elastic and verifying that in fact it does show up on your service map and your services. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.